Hey everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Today on the table we have a Panzer M4. If this looks familiar, that's because it is a clone of the world-renowned Benelli M4, which is my favourite shotgun of all time. Anyway, let's see what this has to offer. If you're going to carry a gun, you need a great holster. I personally use betterholsters.com for my concealed carry, for my out the waistband carry, and I use their gun belt also. They have over 450 models in stock, 50 different colors, 100% made in the US of A, 30 day money back guarantee, and a lifetime warranty. What more could you ask for? Check out betterholsters.com. All right, as I said, this is the Panzer M4, the clone of the Benelli M4. Um, so I guess a little bit ago, uh, the Benelli M4 patent ran out, which allowed some companies to duplicate the Benelli M4. Just kind of like how the, like the Glock Gen 3 ran out, patent ran out, and then you have other companies copying the, uh, the Gen 3 Glock. So same situation, and that's how these are available via other companies. I'm not sure how much on screen I'm going to be able to get this because it is a rather large shotgun. Um, so hopefully we'll see how it goes. But yeah, let's kind of start at the back here. What we'll do is I'll go over the features. I'll put it down on the table uh, and we'll compare it to my own Benelli M4 just to show you how close of a clone this is. Uh, spoiler alert, it's really close. Um, there is some differences though. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, look here. So this does come with this kind of a standard uh, stock here. It does have a really nice rubber pad on the back here to obviously uh, cushion that. Uh, from the uh, recoil of the shotgun. Obviously it is a 12 gauge uh, shotgun. Now moving down, you do have this grip here. It does have the finger grooves. It does have a nice rubber overmold. Um, you may or may not like finger grooves. That totally depends on you. Uh, these don't bother me uh, too much. Um, my hand fits fine. I get a nice grip on it and it's kind of a rubbery, sticky feel. It, it, it get a really nice purchase on that grip. So nice, very nice indeed. Now the nice thing, before we get too far in this, the nice thing with these guns is you can switch any of these parts out to uh, pretty much any Benelli parts on the market. So if you decide you don't like the stock, uh, you can take this off and switch it out for a different stock. And as long as it fits the Benelli, it should just fit your Panzer M4 just fine. So uh, moving along to the top, we do have ghost sights on here, the same as the Benelli. And again, I'll put this down on the table in just a little bit here and we'll do it side by side so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it does have ghost sights. Um, I, I like ghost sights, they work just fine for me. And then you have a 1913 pick rail up here if you want to add an optic, uh, like a red dot of some nature, that is totally up to you. Now moving down to the trigger, your safety is going to be right here. So this is actually on fire and now we are on safe. So that is your safety right here and you just push it through to the other side and that will obviously make you hot and ready to go. That sounds kind of weird. Um, so yeah, anyway, safety right there. Uh, and the trigger is actually, they're pretty decent on these. Um, so let's have a look at the trigger. You've got a little, just a little bit of take up. And then, I mean, it, you're not talking very, very little take up uh, indeed. And then, so have you look at your, your reset, have a look at your reset. Almost immediate to the reset. So very nice indeed. Moving along, you come to obviously, this is gonna be your kind of bolt carrier grip in here, your, and then you have your charging handle on the side here. Again, this is what comes standard with a Benelli M4. If you don't like this, you can change this out, which I have done in mine, and again, we'll show you that in just a second. And then you have your bolt release right here. Again, uh, you can change this out. And I do like to change this out because the button for me is kind of small. I like the pad. Uh, that I've installed in mine and I again I will show you that in just a second here. Now just like the Benelli M4, this M4 also uses the Argo gas operating system which means it is extremely effective and it stays very clean. And moving on up you have your handguard. Now this is a semi-auto uh, shotgun, so it is not a pump action shotgun, um, and so you can really get up and, and dump really fast. Um, on this one, you can have uh, five in the in the tube, and you can actually have one in the chamber, and you can ghost load. Um, I'm not going to go into that right now, though. So you can have six, uh, so you can have seven total rounds uh, with this gun, the current configuration, um, and you can set that up. So. 
uh, you have an 18 inch tube and then you have again your tube right here and then you have a sling attachment right here. Now this tube does come with a restrictor right here because it is imported and that's the laws but you can buy extended tubes to switch this so you can take that off and put an extended tube on there so you can hold seven in your tube and then you can hold uh, one in your chamber and then a ghost load so you can hold up to nine. And that's pretty much the outside configuration. The fit and finish is really nice. Um, I do believe, um, in my personal opinion, I believe the Benelli does have a nicer fit and finish. Um, but with the price reference, you really should be expecting that. But we'll go into more details on that in just a little bit here. Um, but let me go and put this down. We'll put it beside the Benelli M4 and we'll show you how close of a clone this actually is. All right, so let's go ahead and go over these. Um, we're gonna start at the back here. So obviously the Panzer M4 is on the bottom and my Benelli M4 is on the top. Obviously this, you know, I do have some upgrades on here. We'll go over that and why I changed stuff out. But yeah, let's go ahead and start at the back here. You'll see, obviously this is the original stock. Um, this one is a mess of tactical stock that I put on because in actual fact, this stock is about two inches shorter. You can see here the difference. So. If I pull that up, you can see it's a couple of inches, about two inches short. I measured it. Um, I'm not, I'm not the biggest guy. My arms are not super long, so the two inches uh, off the stock actually helps me quite a bit. But anyway, so you do have a nice rubber butt pad at the back here. Now these obviously are different. This is not obviously the one that comes with the Benelli M4. I'm just going to show you my upgrades while we move along. Um, obviously, I have a sling on here from Blue Force Gear. This one does have the straight grip, right? There's no finger grooves. You can see the safety. And let me pull this forward a little bit. You can see the safety is at the exact same place. The trigger looks the exact same. The trigger guard obviously looks different on this one. It has a it's kind of, it's slightly larger, has more of an angle down here. Moving up to the top, you can see the, the sights on top are extremely similar. And then you obviously have your rail up top here. Now again, I just switched this one out to a Mesa, uh, to the Mesa. This actually is part of the Mesa uh, tactical gear, but the Benelli M4 just comes with the, with the same uh, rail on top either way. So, okay, move that down. Slide this along. You can see, I mean, even where these pins are, I mean, they're in the exact same place. The color is slightly different on the the materials are slightly different color. The handguard is almost identical. As you can see here, your sling attachments are this, in the same place. And uh, again, the, the only real difference is this one's like straight black. Uh, the Benelli M4 has kind of got like a gray tinge to it. I'm not sure how that's gonna come across on the camera. The front posts are almost absolutely identical also. Let's move it to the other side. Okay, so you can see here, as I said, the safety is the safety's even the same shape as the Benelli M4. All the pins, everything is in the same place, exact same places. This is almost an identical, identical clone of the M4. Now, I did say I put a pad on here. This is by GG and G, I think I can't remember. Um, so for the for the bolt release, so I do have a larger pad on there, which I do recommend. And I did change out the charging handle again. I think this was GG and G. Again, it was super easy to change out, and all these parts will fit onto this one if you wish. All interchangeable parts, um, and that's pretty much how it is. Now the Benelli M4, when I, when I got my Benelli M4, it also had the restrictor on here, but I switched my tube out um, to this extended one. So uh, it will come with this, but you can switch it out to have the extended tube. So you can see these guns are pretty dang identical. Um, even on the inside, the bolt carrier grips, identical. I mean, it's crazy how close of a clone they got. Um, the color obviously is not the same. Some of the colors on the, on the tube and on the barrel are slightly different. But other than that, if you compared the original Benelli M4, again, I have the upgrades. This is almost an identical clone. Um, it's crazy how close of a clone this is. Okay, so gonna be the big question is, right? Um, the Benelli M4 is gonna cost you $1,700, $1,800. This Panzer M4 is going to cost you approximately $450, depending on the time when you're watching it. So the question is, can a $450 gun be as good as an $1,800 gun, being a clone? Now, um, <laughs> there's a kind of a short and a long answer to this. Uh, shooting it, it feels very similar to the Benelli M4. I believe, the, I think the Benelli M4 feels a little more refined, a little softer shooting. Maybe that's just me, um, but this is extremely close to the shooting experience of the Benelli M4.
Um, the overall fit and finish of this gun is, is very nice, again, especially at that price point. I do believe Benelli M4 quality of materials is slightly higher than this gun also, but is it $1,400 worth more? No, absolutely not. So in my opinion, so far, this seems like a fantastic clone. Obviously the Benelli M4 is extremely reliable. I've never, ever, ever had an issue with that gun. I should all fair amount um, and I love shooting it. I've, sh I've probably been through 125 rounds of, um, of double up buck on this. Again, I've had no problems whatsoever. It's uh, ran flawlessly. So, so far so good. I mean, if you want a Benelli, obviously go and buy the Benelli. If you want a Benelli, but you don't like that price tag, check out the Panzer M4 for $450, uh, 450 odd dollars. You really can't complain at that price. Um, it's got all the features, as I say, the same as the Benelli. It looks almost identical, identical to Benelli. The operating system inside is identical to the Benelli. It has the Argo gas system. The, the parts are interchangeable. It shoots almost, for me, just, just a smidge under the Benelli M4, but almost shoots exactly like the Benelli M4 for $450. So if you're looking for a semi-auto shotgun, yeah, check this one out for sure. All right, folks, that is pretty much it for me. Any questions, any comments, please ask them below. I'm always happy to help out wherever I can. And that's pretty much it. Until next time, I'll catch you later.